Today for repair we have a Dell Latitude D430 laptop. The screen is broke so we're going to replace it. It's kind of weird because it looks perfectly fine. The damage is over here on the left side. It looks perfectly fine but then when you on it there's a problem. It may not appear until we get into the, you know, into the desktop when there's an image. Ah, there you go. You can see it now. Well, I can see it at this angle. So, I don't know what kind of damage that is. It's kind of strange. Anyways, we're going to have to replace the screen. I'm going to have to wait for the thing to finish drying up so I can off it again. Okay, now we can proceed. This is pretty simple. Uh, the first thing we got to do is take off these the bumpers around the screen. All the circular ones will have to come off. And these are kind of a nuisance uh, because sometimes they don't stick back on correctly. Oops, let's not break the new CLD. Okay, so that's going to expose these screws. We'll need to undo those screws, but first I'm going to remove this top bezel here. And then I'm going to remove these three screws to get the keyboard out because the display connector is is below the keyboard and the keyboard will lift up from the back and then push it forwards a little bit and then it comes out turn it over and then there's the the connector there's a little plastic door that lifts up to release the, the plug and then there's a second wire here which has the same little door and then the keyboard will come out and so now let's remove the screws from the screen and these are all the same so the order don't matter Okay, on this die, you don't like this part. You have to get the screen, this bezel around the screen off. And there's a whole bunch of little plastic clips that love to break. Um, I always start from the bottom right and then I move up. And you just, you gotta be pretty careful with it. Um, but it does take a fair bit of force to. Uh, 
got the clips to separate. And they're all along here. So you just gotta go up, slowly releasing each of these clips. Now when you get towards the center and the top here, um, it usually goes easier on the top. The latch you gotta pull it to the left or to the right rather and then open that up. And then once we get to the other side it gets difficult again. And then this always gets kind of flaky because you got the wires here, so you got to be careful for the wires. The ambient light sensor is right there, you got to be careful of that. Okay, that's the worst part. Now we have two screws to undo to release the screen. There's little plastic studs that are in here, you gotta kind of lift it up from the stud before it's going to move and you got the Wi-Fi antenna there so be careful of that okay and then the uh, wire routes through to the left hinge And it just pulls straight towards the screen. It's straight out. Okay, so there's the broken screen out. Let's get the new screen. And I'm going to plug this in and check it just to make sure it worked before I put anything back together. Being a little pesky here and I want to plug in. There it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna on it real quick and we'll just check and make sure that it works. Okay, it's working. So now let's stick this back down here. We're out the cord, throw the hinge here, all right everything looks pretty good there. So we'll secure the screen in place, make sure it lines up in all those little plastic studs.
it, 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 there's a little thing at the top that fits an old metal stud. That goes in there, and then uh, once that's in, you can push it down from the bottom. Okay, that looks that looks correct. In the way, why this is like that? It's just a little tab that can go in the back. Okay. That should be good. So we'll go ahead and screw it in now. So something's a little flaky here. Why is it not sitting flat? It looks like it came out at the top. Okay, now it's sitting flat. I don't know why it wasn't the first time. with that it's kind of annoying that's fine I can stay like that all right let's check it again just to make sure it's still good yes it is okay so let's put the uh, bezel back on now I start here and this kind of pushes down and up a little bit and then that goes in and then go up the sides and finish at the top. Okay, that looks pretty good. Put the screws back in. Okay, let's check it one more time. Okay, we're still good on that front. Now we'll put these little things back in. Most of the time, as long as you don't get them dirty while they're off, they'll usually stick on again just fine. Okay, so that's that. Now we can put the keyboard back in. We have two connections to make. The larger one slips in like that and then you close it. 
and the same thing with the smaller one these can be kind of tricky because they don't stay in place until you close it there's not a lot of room to work okay that's that goes in the bottom first all these those tabs on the bottom go in there and then it should sit down like that put the screws back in Okay, put the bezel back on. That's not down correctly. What's going on here? Alright, so that's that concludes the screen replacement. I don't know, it does not conclude the screen replacement. The bezel's not on the left side either. Jeez, who would have thought this would have caused so much grief? I think that clip may be the broken. Yeah, it was the broken. It was like bent down. It should be like that, not bent over. There we go. See, now it went all the way flush over. That's how it's supposed to be. And that corrected the issue all the way across. Okay, let's power it back on and see if it's working. Looks good so far, I don't see any defects in this panel. Wanted to boot into Windows just so we can see the see the background image, make sure that's clear everywhere, and then we'll check the key the, the keyboard to make sure that's working. Okay, the panel looks good. Let's check this keyboard and make sure that's working too. Yeah, the keyboard is working just fine. Okay, so that will conclude the repair.